where your thoughts go the constitution and the character of your thoughts would eventually become your life today the words that are coming out of your mouth would eventually create for you the life that you live where there is no vision the people perish i just wanted you to see that where there is no vision the people perish where there is no revelation the people cast off restraint now i want you to observe that word restraint the people cast off restraint then he says but blessed is he who keeps the law blessed is he who keeps the law but where there is no revelation vision the people cast off restraint if people can't see what God is doing, they stumble all over themselves. But when they attend to what he reveals, they are most blessed. All right. Now, look at that. He says, if people don't see what God is doing, where there is no vision, you know, the King James says where there is no vision, the Amplifier shows you that that vision is revelation. The NIV says, where there is no revelation. So we're seeing that this revelation is the revelation of the redemptive work of God. But the message says, if you can't see what God is doing, you stumble all over yourself. But when what God is doing is revealed to you, then you are blessed. That means your blessing is a function of revelation. Your blessing is a function of vision. Your blessing is a function of what you see. God said to Abraham, he says, as far as you can see, as far as you can see, I have given to you. As far as you can see, I have given to you. What you see, you become. What you see, you become. In fact, what you see, you are already becoming. Then another way of saying is, saying it now is that you are today what you saw yesterday. You are today what you saw yesterday. I'll give you um, a, a, a very um, interesting example. Something that happened to me um, when I was a kid. It's important that you know that in life there are principles and what you need to do is learn those principles and walk by those principles. The principles they are principles because they are not emotional that means um, for instance the law of gravity is not emotional if you walk with the law of gravity that law is going to benefit you and help you and you would walk right if you go against the, the law of gravity no matter what your intention is no matter what your intention is um, you're going to have um, you're going to pay there will be a cost to breaking that law. In the spirit, there are principles. There are laws. And one of such laws is this law. The law of sight. You know, the law of visualization. That, that way that you design, you predetermine, you frame your life and the circumstances of your life. 